The Bhagavad Gita, often referred to as the Gita, is a revered and ancient text that holds profound insights into the complexities of life, human nature, and spirituality. Written thousands of years ago as a dialogue between the Prince Arjuna and the deity Krishna, the Gita presents a tapestry of teachings that transcend time and culture. At its core, the Bhagavad Gita offers guidance on how to navigate the challenges and dilemmas that arise in our lives. It delves into the concepts of duty, righteousness, and the paths to spiritual enlightenment. Through its verses, the Gita imparts a holistic understanding of existence, touching upon topics such as selfless action, detachment, devotion, and the nature of reality. In today's video, we're delving deep into a timeless quote from the Bhagavad Gita. You have the right to work only but never to its fruits. Let not the fruits of action be your motive, nor let your attachment be to an action. These profound words encapsulate a philosophy that transcends time and resonates with the essence of human existence. In a world where achievement often takes precedence over the process, this teaching challenges us to rethink our approach to work, success, and happiness. It guides us towards a path of selfless action and detachment, offering a roadmap to balance, purpose, and inner peace. Throughout this video, we'll uncover seven essential lessons derived from this quote, each holding the power to transform our perspective on life. As we explore these lessons, remember that the wisdom of the Bhagavad Gita is not bound by time or culture. It's a beacon of light that illuminates our modern lives with profound insights. So, let's journey together into the heart of this teaching, seeking understanding and inspiration that can enrich our daily existence. Lesson 1. Embrace the joy of effort. The first lesson from this quote is the essence of embracing the joy of effort. Much like an artist engrossed in their creation, we're encouraged to find fulfillment in the process of action itself. The concept of working only but never to its fruits teaches us to focus on the present moment, infusing each action with intentionally and authenticity. Imagine an artist standing before a canvas, lost in the world they're creating. Their strokes are deliberate, their focus unwavering. They're not preoccupied with how the painting will be received, they're immersed in the act of creation. Similarly, when we work with dedication and focus, we infuse each action with a sense of purpose. By immersing ourselves in the process, we disconnect from the anxiety of outcomes. Picture a gardener tending to their plants, not worried about the eventual blooms but nurturing each seed with care. Similarly, by nurturing our actions with intention, we cultivate a sense of fulfillment that transcends external validation. In a world driven by results, this lesson offers a refreshing perspective. It reminds us that success is not solely measured by external rewards. Just as the artist treasures each brush stroke, we can find value in our efforts and intentions, regardless of the outcomes. This mindset shift invites us to rediscover the beauty of being fully present in our actions. As we explore this lesson, visualize the joy on the artist's face as they step back to admire their creation. This joy is not solely tied to the finished artwork, but to the creative journey itself. Similarly, when we embrace the joy of effort, we discover that the true reward lies in the act of creation. Lesson 2. Release the burden of expectations. Moving on to our second lesson, we encounter the wisdom of releasing the burden of expectations. The quote's call to let not the fruits of action be your motive speaks to the idea of letting go of attachment to specific outcomes. It encourages us to navigate life's currents with grace, much like a river flowing through a serene landscape. Visualize a river winding its way through a lush forest, unaffected by the pressures of its destination. The water flows freely, and its focus is on the journey itself. Similarly, this lesson invites us to let go of the weight of expectations and focus on the present action. Expectations can be heavy burdens that hinder our progress. When we release the grip of anticipated outcomes, we free ourselves to navigate challenges with greater ease. Just as the river encounters rocks and bends, we too can flow through life's obstacles without being bogged down by the weight of results. This teaching encourages us to redefine success by embracing the journey. Picture a traveler enjoying the sights along a winding road, each step an opportunity for discovery. In a world that often glorifies the finish line, 
we're reminded that the path itself holds valuable experiences. By internalizing this lesson, we learn to find joy in the present moment, regardless of external circumstances. Much like the river's constant flow, we can embrace life's ever-changing currents with a sense of detachment from outcomes. This mindset shift empowers us to navigate challenges with grace and resilience. Lesson 3. Cultivate Selfless Action Our third lesson delves into the concept of cultivating selfless action. The quotes counsel to let not the fruits of action be your motive encourages us to shift our focus from personal gains to contributing to the greater good. This lesson explores the transformative power of working for the benefit of others in the world. Think of a group of volunteers working together to uplift their community. Their actions are driven by a genuine desire to make a positive impact, not by the allure of recognition. Similarly, this lesson teaches us that when we selflessly serve others, we tap into a wellspring of purpose and fulfillment. Selfless action involves working with dedication, not for personal gain, but for the betterment of society. Think of a teacher imparting knowledge to students, driven by a passion for education rather than seeking accolades. By embodying this mindset, we align ourselves with a deeper purpose. In a society often fixated on individual achievement, this lesson serves as a powerful reminder of our interconnectedness. Just as a thread is woven into the fabric of a tapestry, our actions contribute to the larger whole. By working selflessly, we contribute to a more harmonious and compassionate world. By internalizing this lesson, we invite a sense of meaning and joy into our lives. The image of volunteers collaborating in service represents the essence of selfless action, a collective effort to create positive change. Through selfless actions, we tap into the wellspring of joy that arises from contributing to something greater than ourselves. Lesson 4. Overcoming the Fear of Failure Moving forward, our fourth lesson addresses the fear of failure. The quote's encouragement to, let not your attachment be to an action, invites us to conquer our fear and take action, without being paralyzed by the prospect of failure. This lesson empowers us to step out of our comfort zones and embrace challenges. Visualize a mountaineer gazing up at a towering peak, their heart racing with both excitement and apprehension. Yet, despite the fear of the unknown, they take that first step. Similarly, this lesson teaches us that when we detach from the fear of failure, we embark on a journey of growth and transformation. An action driven by the fear of failure can keep us stagnant, preventing us from realizing our potential. But when we release this attachment to comfort, we unleash our capacity for growth and achievement. Just as the mountaineer ascends step by step, we too can overcome challenges through steady progress. Failure is not an indication of worth, it's a stepping stone to success. Picture the mountaineer slipping on a rocky path, yet continuing to climb. This resilience is mirrored in our lives, by releasing attachment to outcomes, we build the resilience needed to face setbacks. The mountaineer's triumph at the peak symbolizes the victory that comes from pushing beyond fear. Similarly, when we embrace action without attachment to success or failure, every step becomes a triumph. By internalizing this lesson, we learn that the journey itself is the reward, and every step forward is an accomplishment. Lesson 5. Redefine Success and Inner Fulfillment Our fifth lesson invites us to redefine success and inner fulfillment. The quotes counsel to let not the fruits of action be your motive challenges us to shift our focus from external achievements to the contentment that arises from within. This lesson explores the profound shift from seeking validation to nurturing inner peace. As an example a person meditating in a tranquil natural setting, their mind free from distractions. They're not striving for accolades, they're seeking inner alignment. Similarly, this lesson encourages us to find success within ourselves, rather than in the opinions of others. In a world that often equates success with material gains, this teaching reminds us that lasting fulfillment arises from within. Consider the serenity of the meditator as they connect with their inner self. By letting go of the need for external validation, we cultivate a sense of contentment that is impervious to external circumstances. This lesson invites us to redefine our metrics of success. Just as the meditator seeks tranquility, 
we can seek alignment with our true values and passions. When we work with authenticity and integrity, success becomes a byproduct of our dedication rather than an end in itself. As we embrace this lesson, imagine the person in the meditation scene radiating a sense of peace and joy. This imagery symbolizes the inner contentment that comes from aligning our actions with our authentic selves. By redefining success in this way, we discover a path to enduring fulfillment. Lesson 6. Navigating the balance of ambition and detachment. Moving on to our sixth lesson, we explore the delicate balance between ambition and detachment. The quote's invitation to let not the fruits of action be your motive encourages us to find equilibrium between pursuing our goals and letting go of attachment to outcomes. This lesson delves into the art of maintaining balance in our pursuits. Visualize a tightrope walker gracefully traversing their precarious path. Each step requires focus and precision. Similarly, this lesson guides us in navigating life's complexities with the same finesse, striving for excellence while maintaining inner balance. Ambition is a powerful driving force, propelling us towards growth and achievement. Yet, when ambition becomes synonymous with attachment to results, it can lead to stress and disappointment. This lesson teaches us to find a middle ground, where ambition is guided by an inner sense of purpose. Consider the image of the tightrope walker adjusting their posture to remain steady. Similarly, we learn to adapt our approach as circumstances change. By striking a balance between ambition and detachment, we foster resilience and adaptability in our journey. In a world that often glorifies relentless pursuit, this lesson is a reminder that we're not defined solely by our accomplishments. Just as the tightrope walker maintains poise amidst challenges, we too can navigate life's intricacies with a sense of equilibrium, regardless of the outcomes. Lesson 7. Live with Mindful Presence. Our final lesson centers on the practice of mindful presence. The quotes counsel to let not the fruits of action be your motive aligns with the essence of mindfulness, a state of being fully present in each moment. This lesson explores the transformative power of immersing ourselves in the now. Imagine a person practicing mindfulness in a serene garden. Their focus is on the present, on the rustling leaves, the gentle breeze, and the sensations within their own body. Similarly, this lesson encourages us to anchor ourselves in the present moment, freeing us from the grip of past regrets and future worries. Mindfulness involves engaging in each action with full awareness. Much like a musician immersed in their melody, we can infuse intentionally into even the simplest of tasks. By doing so, we rediscover the richness of life's nuances, fostering a sense of deep connection. In a world of distractions, mindfulness becomes a tool for liberation. Just as the meditator finds solace in the garden, we can find refuge from the noise of modern life by returning to the present. This lesson invites us to experience life fully, appreciating each moment as it unfolds. By practicing mindful presence, we invite a sense of calm and clarity into our lives. Imagine the person in the garden, their face reflecting a serene sense of contentment. This image encapsulates the peace that comes from being fully present, reminding us that true fulfillment is found in the present moment. As we've explored these seven essential lessons from the Bhagavad Gita's profound quote, we've journeyed through the art of embracing effort, releasing expectations, cultivating selfless action, overcoming fear, redefining success, navigating ambition, and living mindfully. These lessons weave together a tapestry of wisdom that empowers us to approach life with renewed perspective and purpose. Each lesson unveils a facet of the quote's teachings, inviting us to shift our mindset, actions, and perceptions. As we transition from one lesson to the next, remember that these insights are not isolated principles but interconnected strands of guidance that can harmoniously shape our lives. We hope this exploration of the Bhagavad Gita's teachings has illuminated your path and enriched your understanding of selfless action, detachment, and purpose. If you found value in this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more transformative insights. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery and reflection. May the lessons from the Bhagavad Gita's quote inspire you to work diligently, detach from outcomes, and find fulfillment in each moment. As you navigate life's twists and turns, 
May you walk the path of selfless action with a heart full of compassion and a spirit free from attachment. Until next time, may your actions be driven by purpose, and may your journey be guided by the wisdom of the ages.